Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So once again, we have another week and another Dev Channel build, and this week it's build 25217, which was made available on the 6th of October. Now, um, as I like to do more or less on a weekly basis, in case you're interested, just to go through a couple of the key highlights um, that Microsoft um, makes available as new features uh, in the Dev Channel builds, just to keep you up to date and up to speed as to any possible new features that could one day roll out to an up-and-coming stable version. Now, just to make... Um, quick mention of the first new feature and this is for developers and developers can start building third-party widgets now and as part of the WinApp SDK 1.2 preview 2 release uh, the widgets board is being opened up to more developers now from this build uh, 25217 creators will be able to create widgets for a packaged Win32 apps and applications and test them locally on the Windows 11 widgets board if their machine is running in developer mode and to do that they need to head to if you are a developer head to settings privacy and security and toggle on for developers now um starting with the first new feature using a screenshot and you now get cloud suggestion in simplified chinese ime and um, ime stands for input method editor now just to go through a couple of these regarding the simplified chinese ime uh, the changes, according to Microsoft, include an improved cloud suggestion, an integrated search suggestion. The cloud suggestion adds the most relevant word from Bing to the IME candidate window. And this, this screenshot um, is basically just showing us the simplified Chinese IME candidate window with a word suggestion from Bing at the second place. And then moving on to the next, regarding the same feature, um, this is just showing Bing search suggestions expanded from IME candidate window. And then just the last one regarding the Chinese IME. Um, to turn on these features, select a Chevron button at the right end of the IME candidate window, as we can see in the screenshot, and you'll find turn on button and you'll be able to turn on that those um, suggestions from Bing. Now I'm um, heading to the next screenshot, and this is actually a new video calling experience um, for chat from Microsoft Teams in Windows 11. And Microsoft is calling this a sneak peek um, for some insiders uh, in this latest build, 25217. And they say when you open chat from the taskbar, the focus will be on you with a preview of your own uh, video and the various ways you can connect with your people. So it's now easier to immediately start a video call with those who are using Microsoft Teams for personal use. For those who are not on Teams, Microsoft says you can easily now share a call link with anyone via SMS or email and get the conversation going directly within chat. And this experience will become more broadly available, they say, in the coming months. And then um, there's another Microsoft Store update, which seems to be getting a lot of updates in the Dev Channel. And this week, um, according to Microsoft, while finding games in the store, um, we now clearly show when they are available with Game Pass as well as the current available price on the detail page of such a game. We updated the, the button design and added a new section to let you know what is included in the subscription. And they've also enhanced the library experience with simplified options and improved performance. So that's a, another Microsoft Store update once again available to Dev Channel Insiders. And then the next screenshot is actually a hidden feature, not officially mentioned in the release notes, um, by Microsoft, but nonetheless, um, this was found once again by a Windows enthusiast Phant Phantom Ocean Three, where he says Microsoft is now trying out a new taskbar search box, as we can see uh, in the bottom left next to the widgets, and on the left side, and that's as mentioned in the bottom left of the taskbar. And if we head to the next screenshot, this is just another. Um, variant of that so you get the little icon now with search and the search box and then the final screenshot um, um posted by phantom ocean 3 um he says you can choose from taskbar settings how you like it set up so very similar to um what we get um in windows 10 now where you have options in windows 10 to hide the search button or the search box so show search icon and show search box so those are hidden features, which means Microsoft could be testing those internally and could officially start testing those in an up-and-coming version um, and build that rolls out to the Dev Channel Insiders. So that's more or less it for this week. 
And that's just a couple of the key highlights that have rolled out this week for the Dev Channel Insiders in Build 25217. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.